House. Welcome to Outnumbered Overtime. I'm Harris Faulkner. <laughs> oh, 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 and Bo's trying to leave. No, you have to stay. You're here. not allowed to go anywhere, no, Bo. I, I mean, for the listening audience, because honestly. You didn't doing? really tell us how you felt during the last 60 minutes. <laughs> you're going to have to tease it out Wait of Wait a second. I still yeah. don't understand this, right? What? I really like to understand because people listening in maybe don't Cause understand. Because you're saying it. if there are 435, Thank, well, 434 right. now because Grimm has resigned. Right. 434 right. members of the House of right. Representatives right now. Why does it just take 29 to put the speakership in jeopardy? For the, for the novice guy like me and people watching and listening. What because is, you only have to get to a certain amount to get the majority of the people who are there and who are voting and vote for an actual so human being. So 29 is a majority? But, but 29, well, you're thinking about Democrats. They're not going to vote for Boehner. Mm -hmm. So you take them out of the mix, and then you think about losing 29 Republicans in voting. So you should have, what, total. 280 uh, Republicans? Yeah, 200, and we'll see, if we're voting with 434... I'm not math. Well, oh, it's why do you want the math right now? I'm a lawyer, not a math. What do you? Why can't do the math? Because 29 <laughs> doesn't sound right. I would think that you would have at least 147. No, no. Well, assuming the Democrats are all going to vote for someone other than Boehner, they're going to vote for Pelosi or whoever. I mean, assuming that they'll all, you don't oh, count those votes. And not oh, all so they vote for that Pelosi. That many, that many uh, members, that many Republicans. Well, you know, it's just not a dumb question. It's a no, no, no. It's not a question. Because you hang out in Washington D.C. But not with I'm the calculator. Guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. And I, so I'm going to ask you about the important stuff, like where to get a good slice of pizza. A good slice of pizza? Mm. I think John's uh, John's Pizzeria down there, the original John's down there in the village. On 6th? Yeah. yeah. Also, my there, favorite, huh? favorite, if you want to go up to 117th Street and 1st Avenue, Patsy's, the original oh, Patsy's. Yeah. The original they got Patsy's. A, they got a yes. cool oven there. The only problem is if you buy the pizza and you want to go home, the cheese movitates off in the box. <laughs> the when you get the box back to the apartment or the house, the cheese is on the side. So oh. you got to hold it upright if yeah. you take it. They burn so much coal at Patsy's. Yeah. They are actually single-handedly supporting the state of West Virginia. I know. And, and the EPA and, is going to shut them down. Because of regulations and executive orders, Patsy's. So speaking of movitations, we moved from <laughs> Bill de Blasio, a.k.a. Big Bird, to banana hammocks today. Oh, so you so cannot accuse wow. the outnumbered cast of not having range, ladies and gentlemen. We really do. <laughs> uh, thigh gap, guys, or do you want to talk about Big Bird again? No, I, th I, think, I think the most important thing, even, it's, it's a catalyst of the whole country. It's the feel that has prevailed from Washington, D.C., from Obama, and to this uh, attorney general who was so disrespectful not coming to the funerals of my two brother officers that were assassinated. That's a kick in your face. But yet he'll run to Ferguson and he'll young, run to the family of Brown, and he didn't come to these offices. That's a disregard. That's actually a good question. Why didn't we see some sort of federal representation uh, at these fallen well, yeah, off by Biden? Biden, right? Yeah, we got the vice FBI president. I mean, Biden by came. federal, I mean, and Call me the FBI no, but director. the first, the first exactly guy you had meant. none. You know it. Biden came. Biden came the first time. Biden was there the second time. Now you didn't have the FBI guy the first time. Right. He came the to FBI. But my whole point is, wouldn't we want one thing? We I want to be kumbaya, right? I want to bring everybody together. I want to show. Is that show, your rap and, name? And no, no. And you know how they, this mayor? It, but he, it ain't in his DNA. He's a commie socialist. He doesn't know from talking. Because I would grab him by his neck and say, Big Bird. He's how you do it. One, you apologize to the police department and say, I only really got to know you. Happen, I only really got to and know you. And I don't think they would accept the apology. I don't think they would, they would take no, that no, no, as no. a if you, do it, if you do it this way, I saw two heroes being buried. My idea is now, if my son has a problem, I want him to go to cops. This is the greatest police department, and I was wrong in my ass. But it ain't in his DNA. Commie DNA. Socialist DNA. Uh, Look what he married did. He had a commie. Bo, a question for you. You said this is a powder keg, and... You know, we talked about how Mayor de Blasio wants this um, not proactive policing. He wants yeah, reactive right. policing unless it's fighting his war on tobacco. Yeah. How do you think this is going to affect God, the so city true. of New York? Oh, it's, it's horrible. And, and a lot of people don't see one other thing. We had our uh, overtime for the cop. They're working 12 hour shifts, shifts for the last four weeks on 12 hours, no days off and all that with all these fugazi demonstrations that, uh, <laughs> that were going on. Now you have finances coming in. He just gave his friends with the teachers union a contract that he can't pay for. Now you got the shutdown of the tickets, even for the last month. You, there's going to be a financial burden on the city that's going to start to peek its ugly little eyes out of the sea. And right now, I just worry about the cops out there, yeah. about them not reacting fast enough. But then again, they're not doing their jobs out there the way the city wants them to do their job. They're backing each other, which is good. We've got to clear it. If I could be the
peace broker. Because right now, my friend, the commissioner, who I, Bill Brown, who I love, is not really bringing it together. Mm -hmm. you, I would be an independent guy, get Big Bird by his neck, and I wouldn't invite Mr. Sharpton. Uh, that was the first wrong thing he did. Yeah. And bring together, and with the union guys, say, let's make it right. But the mayor has to step up and show a sincere uh, apology to the police for condemning them, telling them they have to go for retraining. That's like a professional telling That's a guy who's never been a cop. Right. I mean, that's, that's what right. I think of when, when I hear the Blasius. Imagine being a cop with 30 years on the job, a great police department, and now you're telling you got to go back to school because you're not doing it right. Well, but Holder's doing that with, I mean, police departments all across yeah. the, the country. This is he part brags of the, about I gave you the doubling number. the number I gave of police the number in stations New York. that they're investigating. I gave you the number. New York, 25 million uh, uh, interactions with police and, and, and civilians, and I gave you the the, the minimal 55, 5,500 civilian complaints, one ten, uh, two tenths of one percent. I gave you the shooting statistics, one out of 330,000. Come on, this is the best police department in the world. Everyone comes here to learn what we do here in the police department. Now all of a sudden, since Big Bird here, and he ran on one thing to destroy the cops, stop and frisk. Yeah. He wants the cops to sign a, an affidavit before you search somebody. Now I'd like to see that guy with that big gun last night that shot two of our hero officers. If probably if cops were able to pat people down and get those guns off the street, yeah. you know what? Everyone worries about your civil liberties, but you know what? To be to be safe, you have to give up some of your civil liberties. That there's is absolutely a fine not true. There. There's, there's, there's a, a very famous quote. Those who are willing to sacrifice their freedom for security deserve neither. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't agree with there that. There is a balance there. Of course there. I mean, you don't. I mean, you've got a law enforcement background, but there is a balance. Yeah. And if, if well, more people gun, had guns, one at a time. Safe. I want the gun. You want the bad guns off I want the street. The, not, right. not all not the, the guns off no, the street. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm for people carrying guns. I carry a gun. But what I'm talking about is mm -hmm. I want the I bad... I thought you were filling up your hammer hanger. I oh boy. want the bad <laughs> guns <laughs> off the street. Yes. That might hurt you or your family, you or your family. And if it comes off there, if the search is iffy, get the gun yeah, off the, the street. Yeah, but the problem is when, when big government people say get the guns off the street, yeah. they take you know honest people it's who a, deserve yeah. and have a constitutional I know. right to bear I know, arms. But there was a way with stop and frisk. They had 700,000 stop and frisk with, uh, with uh, uh, our former commissioner. He brought it down before he left to under 200,000. They were fine-tuning it you didn't have to dismantle it all you do is you fine-tune it and now you go into areas that have had shootings robberies that's the areas I'm sorry right. to say that mine well, are all right, hold on Bo take a breath that's not happening though Jedediah yeah. you see cops now doing what the mayor wants which is waiting for the calls to come in not proactive policing right. and then going out and answering the calls this is exactly what Bill de Blasio wants and the police force even though it's not the best way to police unless it's a I guess a yeah. pack of That's cigarettes, also not illegal community cigarettes. Community policing either. That's the worst. It's of both not. Worlds. Yeah. It's not what they want, but it's what the mayor wants. They're doing it. I just don't see how this gets any better. I don't oh. see how. I mean, even if he does all the right things from here on in, even if Bill De Blasio comes out, Bo, and says exactly what you said, the history is there now. Cops aren't going to believe him. He's still out there putting his okay, foot in his mouth and saying, "You guys are disrespecting well, we have to me." Try okay, okay, I want to ask you something though. Um, you know, Patrick Lynch, it seems, has more sway over rank and file officers than the police commissioner. Does a police commissioner have to go if you know cops aren't? Listening Bill to uh, Bill Brad's a great police commissioner, and, he, but and he, has to, cop. Okay. he has so, to get his independence he from the mayor. He's the great commissioner. Is he going to be sacrificed in this fight, though? You know, you want to know something, and I still say, you're saying it can't be, it can't be healed. We are stuck with Big Bird for the next three years. Whatever his idealistic values are, there's no impeachment going on. Now, what we have to do, we have to let him come and let. Some police officers believe that he's supporting you guys. That's what I get from the street from the police officers. We feel we got no one supporting us. But Shannon, to, to the point that we discussed earlier, I mean, this is a mayor who took to the streets and wagged his fingers right, at the police. At the police, and basically said the protesters can call you the KKK. They can right, compare you to you, KKK. Slap you. You know, he said that the attack on two cops was an alleged attack. I mean, he has a history of being anti-police. He told his son to fear the cops. Yeah. So. He's talking about this First Amendment rights, but now the cops are very peacefully exercising their First mm -hmm. Amendment right, turning their backs to him. And King de Blasio doesn't like it. And now he wags his finger saying, how dare you disrespect me? Not exactly the best message. Yeah, and as yeah. we talked about during one of the commercials, I mean, the First Amendment is because unpopular speech is what needs protecting, not the yeah. kumbaya stuff that everybody's happy with. Yeah. 
That doesn't need protection because everyone's okay with it. The Supreme Court has no, it's a stuff repeatedly you just hear upheld it's and a very unpopular speech. This is actually speech. a really good Supreme Court for free speech. They are really good for free speech because you think about Westboro Baptist, which almost mm. everyone would admit mm -hmm. is severely offensive, right. showing up and protesting funerals, at funerals yeah. of soldiers. Um, but the court said, hey, First Amendment right. We don't have to like it, but we have well, to protect it. Well, there's a certain it. thing like you can't yell right. fire in a movie theater. Right, there are right. limits. It's going to cause, and also when you're going to show a video of cops being shot, when it was like that, that's not First Amendment. That's violence. Last word goes to Bo. Thank you for joining Outnumbered Overtime. We'll Thank see you, you right back here at noon Eastern tomorrow on the Fox News Channel. For more Outnumbered, have a great day.